if I'm drawing too much current, over 150 amps in my situation, um, and I'm doing it continuously, these all have different trip settings, I'm gonna want something to help protect the battery and the rest of my system from over current and under voltage so this is going to step in if i hit this button now everything is going to shut off so i'm going to bring it up here now we're going to simulate this thing tripping right so i just hit the button everything shut down it's beeping at us it's not happy and what caused that well this is that safety so the very beginning of your circuit you're going to want to have some sort of safety system to protect it from any sort of damage. Maybe some of these wires rub against each other. You're riding in a van, right? You know, you're doing your off grid. So maybe you're in that boat situation. These wires have rubbed to each other or rubbed to the frame or the hull of your boat and they're gonna cause a fire. So you can do that. So I can restore power by resetting this one and you'll see things turn back on. So that's really cool. One of the really interesting things about a resettable circuit breaker uh, especially an inline, you can use the inline ANL fuses. The problem is you have to have a bunch of fuses, so they're kind of a last resort. By having an inline circuit breaker, you get kind of the same features, especially if you're in a boat, these are really popular, because then you can reset them. That's the, the first item in the chain here. It is